Hi everyone, welcome back to Eclectic Kalum. Today I'm answering this question. It all comes down to loving yourself. You have to love yourself. Love is what will make you naturally repel them. It's what make, will make you naturally set boundaries. That's the first thing. Um, setting boundaries and how do you do that? You love yourself. You don't betray yourself. So that's the the basis of it. You know that's where that comes from. Nothing more. You say no when you love yourself so much so that you won't allow anybody to hurt you. So you say no, or you, for example, you get out of certain situations, protecting yourself. That's another boundary. Or you won't allow certain types of um, behaviors with you. You know, the idea is that you love yourself and then you set boundaries. Normally, it's a consequence of that. That's why I think mindfulness is so important because that will make you think about what's going on right now in this moment. What's this person saying to me? Is Why am I feeling this way? Why is this making me feel so bad? Okay, What's wrong with this situation? So that I can make a decision where I can say, okay, I'm out of here, I'm not putting up with this anymore, and you need to stop behaving this way with me. Because why? Because I love myself so much that I won't allow this to happen again. And then self-respect. This is huge and I think I repeat myself, but this is very important. Self-respect, not betraying yourself, you know. And so if you have that as a goal, as a way of living, then you won't allow certain things to happen. And that's another way you can protect yourself. Because when you have self-respect, there's just simply it's not happening. You know, certain things are not happening because that's your, your normal, you know. Doing things that you enjoy, for example, you know, going for walks, being in nature, all that rewires your brain in a way that, that uh, makes you see that you enjoy certain things, that you have fun with certain things, that um, you know you know when you're feeling okay. That with mindfulness combined will help you, help you see that, uh, okay, this is how I feel when I feel okay. And so that'll help you see that in certain situations when you have abusive people near you <laughs> that are, let's say, saying horrible things to you, then you say, okay, this is not good, you know, and then your gut will tell you, okay, get out of here. Because remember when you were walking and having a good time and taking care of yourself and yeah, that's normal, that's good. So this situation is not good. So you need to get out of here. So yeah, do things that you enjoy. Yeah, that practice rewires your brain and yeah, and mindfulness will help you detect you know, when you're being attacked by narcissists. <laughs> you you regulate that for yourself. You need other people to tell you that you're okay, that you're not okay, that you're, you're smart, that you whatever. Or maybe what you need is somebody to take care of you, you know, be warm and belong to someone. And that, yeah, you give that to yourself. That's another layer of protection there because there's less vulnerability, less wounds to, to be reopened by narcissists. You see what I'm saying? They, they tend to aim and go for the wound. And this is one of the wounds that we have, you know, being vulnerable in this way where, where maybe some people need protection and they long for someone to protect them or they need um, to belong to certain groups or they need validation, constant validation. So the idea is for you to work on that and give that yourself. Get that from you. And the work you do is self-care, doing things that you enjoy, working on your self-esteem, knowing that you are enough, mm -hmm. affirmations, those things help a lot. So in short, the idea is for you to let's say love yourself really <laughs> that's the goal because if you love yourself you don't depend on anybody else to tell you anything 
and when somebody attacks you, let's say, and says hurtful things or, or manipulates you with guilt and shame or things like that, um, you you know the alarm the nor will will kick up like it it will it will detonate your normal alarm like your gut feeling that's the gut feeling you know when it when someone is not being good to you and it's being manipulative it will come up and if you manage your state in this way where you are healthy and you love yourself and you have um self-esteem, self-love, you don't betray yourself um, and that you work to be whole as a person, then these things are more likely to, you know, they don't come near you because there's no way you will allow, you know, when you love somebody, you don't allow anybody to hurt them. So the same way should be with you. When you love yourself, you are not allowing every, anybody to hurt you. So that's the idea behind all this, you know? And that from this, you know, like I said, boundaries and all that comes, these boundaries, these things come naturally after just loving yourself, you know? And I'm not saying love yourself and no, no, no. I'm saying self-esteem, really, you know? Knowing that you are enough as you are. And you knowing that you don't need the approval of anybody else but you yourself. That's all you need. So turning the approval inward and not in the, on the narcissist. Okay. Yes, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your comments, for watching my videos, and for your kind attention and for everything. I really, really appreciate that. I read all your comments, of course, and I'm so grateful for you being here. And yeah, if you're new, please subscribe if you like the channel, if you like, I have many videos about this, these issues and subjects and different things. And please like the video, click the bell so that you can get my notifications and yeah. If you have any questions, anything that you would like me to talk about, let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. Thank you so much for being here and bye-bye. Take good care of you because that's really what will protect you against narcissistic people. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.